friends welcome to ATPO in this session we are going to see about unique identifier in SQL server unique identifier is a one of the data type in SQL server and unique identifiers are also referred to as globally unique identifier that is the API call that returns a globally unique identifier is guaranteed to always return a unique value across space and time mostly it related to make addresses from this network and network car and the system time and the unique identifier data type in SQL server is stored natively as a 16 bit binary value we cannot insert a manual globally unique identifiers to the table in case if you want to store with a globally unique identifier value from using new id and new sequential id built-in functions both are the built-in functions generates a globally unique identifiers and the new id randomly it, it, it randomly generates a guaranteed unique value based on the identification number of the service network card plus a unique number from the cp clock so it's a uh, primarily based on network card MAC addresses from the based on network card and the local system time we can use this function uh, within an insert or select statement and second one is new sequential id built-in function it generates these values in sequential order this is the difference between new id and new sequential id new sequential id generates these values in sequential order as opposed to two randomly but we can use this in create or alter statement with the default value conditions default value unique identifiers only we can use uh, new sequential id in create or alter statement and we cannot use this in insert or select statement let's take the simplest example create table the student so student id is a data type for unique identifier and second is student sequential id is also unique identifier and student name create a table create a go to insert with the statement student values first one column we are going to insert with new id it's a built-in function it generates a globally unique identifier id from make addresses based on the network card plus cp clock and student sequential id is new sequential id this is also the built-in function it generates a random id with a sequential order and try to give the name with if I execute the statement it will raise the error because we cannot give the new sequential id in the insert or select statement it, it should be mentioned in default class default constraints in the create or alter statement see the new sequential id built-in function can only be used in a default expression for a column of type in a creatable or alter statement statement it cannot be combined with other operators to form a complex scalar expression so we cannot use this function in this statement okay here yeah. Go, going to add a default value for the student sequence id with all the statement alter table student add constraints default for sequential id and default new sequential for student sequential id and this is a syntax to add constraints within the alter statement just insert a here mentioning the column student id and student name so 
now we execute this from new id say so random generation number and this is as well the number globally unique identified values and execute with the scope it seems to be like sequential c 2b and 2c This is a sequential ID based on the same scope. See, it was a it is different random ID from new ID and new sequential ID is there seems to be like sequential. This only the difference the second character A B C. So these are the new sequential ID. for the car generated by the built in function new sequential id that is this and this is the difference between new id and new sequential id we can fetch with the id we can use this unique global id globally global unique identifier And then with relevant data, and we can use it. Set and limited operators for this, and also this. advantage of using globally unique identity pair is that they are unique across all space and time this comes in and if you are consolidating records from multiple sql servers into one table as in a data warehousing situation gigs are also used heavily by sql server replication to keep track of rows when they are spread out among multiple servers multiple sql servers the main disadvantage is using globally unique identifiers as key values is they are big 16 bits a pop they are one of the largest data types in sql server indexes built on globally unique identifiers are going to be larger and slower than indexes built on identity columns which are usually integers that are four bit four bytes so these are the unique identifiers methods and new id and new sequential id is used to get a globally unique identifier values so we can use whenever we need so this topic will be very useful to you If you like this session, please like and subscribe. Thank you, friends.